These are the Salomon Quest Winter Gore-Tex boots. So for the past couple of years, I've been pretty much hiking four seasons with my trail runners, which are the Aerios from Arcteryx. Uh, they are a Gore-Tex shoe and I made a review that you can check right here. Uh, but uh, I wanted something that would uh, be more targeted for towards winter. I'm getting into more snowshoeing and I wanted something that would fit my micro spikes, that, uh, that would fit also gaiters and also fit a snowshoe. And on top of that, I didn't want to lose the, the Gore-Tex aspect that my trail runners had. But on top of it, I wanted to have more warmth than my trail runners. So that's what I came up with with all the research that I've done. Uh, those uh, Salomon Quest, uh, the Winter GTX, uh, I believe will solve all of those aspects. So let's dig in. <laughs> Starting with the sole, uh, this one has a very, very uh, grippy sole. It's also uh, the counter grip. So the counter grip is a sole that allows uh, a lot of grip for a minus temperature. Uh, so I, uh, the, the material doesn't really uh, get really hard. It actually helps with the grip. Uh, secondly, uh, the actual shape of the boot allows uh, my Hill Sound uh, micro spikes to fit on them. Uh, I haven't tried the boot outside in the snow yet. I just had surgery, so I've kind of been laying low, but um, I, I'm looking forward to take them out. So as you can see, they can uh, really fit the micro spikes. They, the contour is uh, very well, uh, fits very well. So. Uh, really happy with that. Next up was uh, for gaiters. So if you look at the bottom of the boot right here, there is a recess uh, where when you put your foot on the the terrain, the, the strap actually has uh, some recess. So once your gaiter is on, like the, the strap will actually be uh, really from any damage that could occur. That could occur. So uh, uh, since I'm gonna be wearing those mostly in the snow, and on snowshoes, I don't think it will be an issue, but if I end up using them uh, as is or with the micro spike con configuration, I'm not worried about uh, damaging the bottom of my gaiter straps. The nose of the boot here uh, has a nice reinforce, uh, I would say it's, it feels almost like the same material as the sole. So uh, very rubbery, uh, I feel like that's gonna help for uh, keeping the, the shoe in place. Now, I did order a pair of snowshoes, brand new snowshoes, but they're in the mail. They haven't arrived yet. It's been like three, four weeks. Uh, I'm not too sure what's happening with them, to be honest, but uh, I'm looking forward uh, to see how this is actually gonna fit inside the snowshoe. But from the looks of it, I think the fit will be uh, a very good fit and I'll be able to push the toe of the shoe as far as I can into the actual uh, snowshoe itself. Now the outer of the, the boot uh, is uh, polyurethane coated leather. So this prevents any water. It's, it's basically water repellent. On top of that, or I should say underneath that, there is a layer of Gore-Tex. And that's a feature from my trail running shoes that I, I, I just love. Uh, so this one has that on the inside as well. And I, I already know like that my feet will stay dry. To help with that uh, for for warmth, like now this is this is basically uh, a model based on the 40 chassis of the Salomon. This is basically the same Quest model, uh, but this one actually is actually insulated. So with the insulation here, uh, I feel like I put my foot my foot into it, and I feel that the toe box is bigger than my trail runner. So I already know I'll be able to wear like a thicker merino uh, wool sock. And then in the uh, rear section here, uh, that as of now, like I haven't actually walked in them yet, uh, but just putting my foot in, I can feel that there is a lot of support. Right now, I feel a little tight here. 
uh, with the Merino wool sock, but as a brand new boot, like you, it's basically uh, uh, to be expected. As far as support, like there's not a lot of torsion available into the boot, which I, I think is gonna be helpful with the winter hiking. And so like it, it basically showcase a lot of support. I feel like the uh, actual movement of the, the walking is actually in the sole here. So uh, I, I'm not too worried after the fact that there's not a lot of flex. The reviews that I've read uh, prior to purchasing those boots were saying that the first two, three days were stiff and then it was loosening up. So I'm looking forward to try those. Now, another nice feature of uh, this boot is the lacing system. Now at the ankle section here, on both sides, there is a lace lock. So basically you can apply as much tension on the on top of your foot as you want, and then uh, lock the lace in this section, and then you can either go tighter or looser at the upper section, depending on what the preference is. So I think that's another great feature of the Salomon here. Now, when it comes to the inside of the boot, it comes with an insole, which is Ortholite by Salomon. My Arcteryx shoes came with the Ortholite as well. And that's something that I really, really enjoy. Like he creates a very good imprint of your, your, your foot. And then uh, once, once the imprint is done, it's basically, it, you just take it along for the ride. So I'm really looking forward to see how the Salomon Ortholite will perform. Uh, compared to what I already know from the Arcteryx product. So this was a quick unboxing review of uh, this uh, new product that I'll be trying out. So if you're interested in knowing more about this product as I'm using it, uh, consider subscribing because I will be uh, talking more about this product in upcoming videos as I'm using them. Uh, don't forget to like and share this video and I hope this was helpful. Until next time, I wish you well.